Oh, hey, Philip, what are you doing here? Hey, well, I'm about to go into a meeting with some state legislators. Uh, well, so I got Stanley to cover those meetings for you, because uh, I have another job for you to do. Okay. Uh, you might want to change your clothes. Hello. Hi. I'm Matt. Hey, I'm Phil Powell. I'm Daniel Manuhar for, for now. I, I guess so. Right, you ready? Well, you ready to get to work? Yes, sir. Well, let's go. All right. Man, these are uh -oh. some big cows. <laughs> you want you want to stay between your back legs. Okay. And keep your fingers off these pipes. Okay. But when she kicks, her hawk right here will hit that pipe. Okay. So as long as you stay away from that, she really can't hurt you. You know, she might touch you, but she's not gonna hurt you. Okay. <laughs> Milk these cows, this is our pre-dip. We're gonna spray this on to clean the cow and we'll dry it off and put the milking unit on. Alright. So these are you know, prior to her down. And then you move to the next cow. Okay. Uh, so you wanna try this one? Sure. You don't have to touch the cow, just, uh, just prior from the distance. Not nothing. Yeah, so you'll get kicked and she can hit you right here. Okay. So you you never put so your So I just go ahead and spray it. Yeah, just prior from uh, the distance. Oh, yes, front one. There you go, now move to the next cow. Alright. Just on down the line. When I first heard that the, the government affairs uh, worker was coming out to, to be my employee for the day, I was very skeptical. I'll have to admit, I'd give him high scores on his his dress. He looked the part. He's a little too clean. Give you some paper towels. Uh, and now we're just going to dry her off. And the cleaner in the process of drying her off. Uh, so you get about two towels. And just gently dry her off. And you'll come get clean like that. Uh, Go ahead and reach in there. You're okay. Ooh. Go ahead, she's not kicking. She may dance a little, she won't kick. Okay. okay. That's pretty good. We need to get a little drier than that. Right. I was hoping to learn a lot about what uh, dairy farmers do in Arkansas. And uh, I've learned a lot about that. And, um, you know, just get my hands dirty. Get, those were my expectations and I got them dirty. A couple of reasons to dry them off. One is to disinfect the udder, to have a clean location to pull the milk from. Mm -hmm. And two is to, for cow health, you want the udder dry okay. while the machine's on her. So I'll just put the towels in the pocket. So activate the machine and push it on the button. Job. So how many uh, how many gallons would you get? Uh, what do you usually get from each cow? Um, about eight gallons per cow per day. How many cows do you all do in a day? About 180, and twice a day. You wow. get half your milk in the morning, half in the afternoon. Right. Reach in with your, your left hand and dry her. It's usually easiest. How's that? Yeah, you got that one pretty good. Nice. All right. Just throw your towels in the bucket. Then you push the button to release and catch it. Catch it. So it's a just like we got turning around. I hold it like that. All right. Oh, that one. Oh. You gotta hang your black. Oh, yeah. Look in this chain. 
So I will say milking the cow was uh, more automated than I thought it would be. You know, once Matt showed me how everything works, you know, just making sure I put everything in the right places and don't get kicked by the cow or don't have anything drop on you. So uh, once I understood that process, it seemed very straightforward. Oh yeah, she left you a present. She what? She left the present for you. Oh, thank you, thank you. Now the trick is to dodge it. <laughs> Uh, roll up my sleeve for this one. <laughs> I think I found my new job, guys. Sorry, Stanley. I think this is the business for me. We'll have to increase our speed or we won't get to milk twice today. <laughs> what, when do y'all, when's the first time y'all do it in the day? We started four in the morning. Oh, I changed my mind. I, I like my job now. <laughs> And then there's that thing, yeah, there all right? Yeah. Is there a particular reason why y'all do it at uh, those times of the day? It takes you about three hours to milk, so you want to get done in the afternoon at a reasonable time. So you have to start early enough to get finished. Do you, do you take naps in between? At night. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know. So when y'all get all this milk, where does it go? Got a refrigerated storage tank in the other room. Uh, that, of course, as it's coming out of the cow, it's going into this small tank. Uh -huh. And as it fills, it automatically pumps to the storage tank. Okay. And the storage tank's refrigerated. And then you have somebody come pick it up? Or? Yes, the marketing co op comes every two to three days to pick the milk up. Okay. And haul it to market. But see, it's coming out of the cow at her body temperature. Oh, okay. 101 and a half degrees oh. for a cow. And two hours after it comes out of the cow, we'll have it down to 36 degrees. Okay. Uh, the milk comes through stainless steel pipelines mm -hmm. and goes into the refrigerated tank. Uh, you can hear the tanks running right now, and it's already cooled the milk down to this 38 degrees. Okay. Okay, you can go up and inspect the milk that you've pulled out right. of the cow. Looks well, good to me. Maybe take a milk bath. Anybody ever fallen in? No, from time to time you do have to go in it and clean it. Oh, uh, is that what you have your sons for? Well, unfortunately I get to do that. <laughs>